In this example, I want to cut this object by this knife by cloner and in a cloner we use the offset mode and uh, count mode one. As we can see, it's cut and object is split to two objects. Nice. We want to create this project simple example with the cloner. Let's start. Okay, we want to create an object and then split it for example, with uh, cloner, I insert a cylinder here, make it in this direction, and I want to create a knife. And if the knife is go down, it will be cut. <clears throat> so uh, we are going here. Insert. We want to create a simple knife. That's nice in this direction. I make it editable go to the point mode and we take we can drag go to the this mode scale it down to make it sharper <clears throat> and make it sharper again nice that's nice this is our knife and we want to make it animation it goes from up okay frame Go to the this frame at the button. Still here. And if this knife is going down, this cylinder will be cut off. Nice. Oh, this is so nice. This is our knife. Okay. <clears throat> uh, this is object. I call it full. Call it full and then call it a split. Need two objects, okay? One full, one split. Turn the full and <clears throat> on my, I want to use this uh, object, copy it, bring it there. Uh, if you select this object, you can uh, deselect all of its keyframe. This is object for Boolean. We, I want to use it as a Boolean to split this. So it's very easy. Uh, we can use the Boolean object. It was here. Send them all to, and I want to, of course, turn it off. Nice. And as you can see, it's Boolean. We want to separate it to the two parts. No, no, I need to make this cube go more down now it's nice they are very split and in a split uh, hide new edge create of course single object create uh, high quality everything is nice and then make it editable i want to as a one object okay and then i want to split it you can do a split or the two works i i give you a simple example first select this go to the point mode you can go in here you can split it but i prefer to delete it delete it go to the this mode delete it this part nice and now we have two separate objects here and make them all G to group them. Now everything is ready. Now this is full and it is our split. And I want to bring them, I want to use a cloner to cut them because the cloner has a switch option. You can switch between the object that you make them clone, full and split. Bring them in the cloner in a cloner, set it to linear, make count to the zero, reset, turn off the reset coordination, and I don't want any of this cloner. Just I want to use offset or no count, count one. <clears throat> That's nice. It's here. We have a split and full. 
for example i bring it to the full at the first this turn off don't forget to turn it on and this is our splitter go to animation here and as you can see if you go to offset you can switch between one or any we want to animate this to switch it between two objects it is a full object now if it's going down and we animate switch to that okay let's try it now in this in this way now i want to turn it to one and in the frame of zero it is zero and if knife is going down the switch to two part and we need a dynamic to animate them <clears throat> it's very simple we'll create a plane so you learn another thing about the cloner nice this is our plane simple tagged bullet collider body and i think it's better to give this both of them rigid body you can select the tag bullet rigid body to both of them let's try it making card and now we are cutting nice in this situation you can cut the object with the cloner and animating the switch of the cloner nice hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.